Broadcast Network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Hey guys, welcome back to the <laughs> finale of America's Next Top Model. This is Cycle 21, yeah. uh, finale part one and two. I'm your host, Emma Kay, and uh, we have a very special guest in the studio with us today. Very special. Mr. Mr. Keith Carlos. Hey, hey. Mr. Oh, how you doing? How you doing? 21. Yeah, thank, <laughs> you. thank you very much. KC himself. And I have my wonderful co-host with me over Thaddeus here. Thaddeus Massey's in the house. Hey guys, Mike Skakosa, good to be here. Amanda Fields Bennett, happy to be here again. Yo, so congratulations, big ups, Hi. shout yes. outs, Woo. all that thank good you, stuff, thank man. You. Thank yes. you very much. Representing the men, oh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You know what the boys represented? I have to say, shout outs to you and Adam and Will, and Will. for representing us and pushing all the ladies out <laughs> for the top three, and then you took it home. That's all I want to say. I'm happy. I'm just happy. You know, I was just like, wow. We are really like... I FTB think, for the yeah, boys. Yeah, yeah, for the boys, for sure. <laughs> and, you know, as many of you guys know, spoiler alert, you know, if you haven't seen the episode, Keith is the one that wins uh, America's Next Top Model, the first male to ever, ever win yes. wow. America's Next Top Model. And I got to say, it's the first time that... I had nothing to say. Like, I wasn't like, this is bias, this is BS, you know, someone else should have won. I was just like, yeah. Thank I mean, you. I had to narrow down from the beginning. It was going to be either you or Lennox. Yeah. So I think. We well, should go I back should've... and look at the tape of that first I know. That I show, because I'm pretty sure I, we both said Keith yeah. and Lennox. I, I should have bet we did. at yeah. something we, it was gonna be money. It was going to be you and Lennox. I actually, I actually talked to Lennox earlier today yes. and told her that I was done when she was, when she, when she was, I guess voted off? No, not voted off. Elimin but when she, when she was eliminated, sorry, duh, I should know that. When she was eliminated, when, when, when I she was, was like eliminated at first, or no, she, she eliminated twice. Right. Yeah. When she, <laughs> Keith's like, let me make this clear. <laughs> <laughs> so she's a real, let me get, let me get a real like comeback girl. Frames, so. yeah. yeah. So so when she got eliminated the final time, right? I was like, oh, I'm done. I have no <laughs> idea who's gonna win this now because I was certain. Really? I was certain it was going to be him and Lennox in the final. Yeah. And, with yeah. Will with Will as the third. Yeah. And so that just screwed up my whole prediction. That changed when, everything. When they walked down for that final judging in front of Tyra and it was you and Lennox, I was like, oh. Yeah, you. Yeah. What are they going to do? Did you picture how I felt? <laughs> <laughs> like, Lennox is how like, she's... How did you feel, Keith? How did you feel? Lennox, like, she's a strong model, you know, and she's very consistent. She has this look that's just, wow. You know? It's striking. So just being up there uh, on the chopping board with her, I was, like, getting prepared to go home. Like, oh. No, I, I was actually, like, not sure. I really wasn't sure he was going to stay. But I was, I was like, oh, like, <laughs> well, when they were when they were doing the uh, the backstory, you know, on you, yeah. I kind of felt like, OK, what's going on? Either this is him getting eliminated or he's going to win because you don't do a backstory on someone if there is no end result of what's right. going to happen. It's either going to be really tragic or it's going to be, you know, really happy. So well, we know how that I'm actually. <laughs> <laughs> right. And, you know, and just a, just a word to you, you reality show soft script writers. We figured that formula out as an audience <laughs> probably about five or six years ago. Yes. So you guys might want to switch it up. Just, just well, a listen, though, this, is, this is cycle 21. We've had 20 previous cycles. Granted, only the second time there's been guys, but right. you're the first guy to win this thing, man. How, know, do, man. how does that feel? Man, it's uh, it's overwhelming, and um, it really hasn't hit me fully just yet. You know, I've been holding it in for about <laughs> seven months now. Seven months? Yeah. You're to keep it a secret. Right. Yeah, yeah that yeah. was the hardest. So I was Whoa. working on my acting, and I had to change the subject a lot, you know, when people get to, act, <laughs> get to asking. So, 
Yeah, man, it's cool. You just have to say, oh, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> so <laughs> You got to watch the show. Yeah. I have one question to ask. Um, how do you feel about the top four contestants? Uh, you know, who, who was the one that was kind of like your biggest competitor? And who is maybe someone that you didn't really think should be All right, on the um, top four? Out of the top four, I believe that uh, Will and I was the... Um, with the top uh, top guys, and I felt that he was my biggest competitor because, you know, he's a great guy, really down to earth, has a great personality, and uh, he has a great look, and he's a he's a great model. But um, I felt Adam, you know, he really uh, wasn't that big of a threat, you know, although he did great at the end. So I wasn't really threatened by him. So you think that was, um, you know, given to him just to kind of throw off the whole <laughs> competition, nah, um, or you think he Adam, deserved he, Adam it? Adam earned it, yeah. He, he definitely deserved it, and um, he showed a lot of progress from the beginning up until now, so he deserved it. Did he cut back on the drinking? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, it was funny. He said, <laughs> and that's why we love you. <laughs> he said, hey, I got to cut back on the drinking, so I'm going to just drink beer for now. <laughs> What? Yeah, yes. that doesn't make a lot Wait. of sense. For you, for you non-drinkers, <laughs> beer and hard liquor are two totally yeah. different things. Yeah. Right? yeah. Come on. Yeah, me and Adam had a, a couple one-on-ones. I'm like, look, dude, you got to, you know, bring it down a notch. <laughs> uh, although, over over the whole season, and we've talked about it before, I yeah. think Adam... Out of everybody, was the most improved throughout the yeah. show. So it was, cool. it was cool to see that 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 progression from him. He definitely had a story I think he arc, needs, and it was great. He needs like something to feed yeah. off of, except alcohol. So it, getting those compliments and Tyra actually believing in him was right. just feeding uh, this strength in him to go ahead and change and to improve. So he overall he did a good job. You know, I didn't really like his look at the end, uh, not when he first got in. But uh, you chose one hashtag from the beginning. You I said did. the one. The one. What was your feeling when you came into the competition? How were <laughs> you, um, I mean, did you imagine uh, you would be here taking the, the trophy um, home? I, I thought about it a couple times. Uh, I always, um, you know, look, look forward and uh, try to plan ahead and, you know, see where I want to be. And I put mm -hmm. myself in that position and then I go and get it. And, um... I feel like, you know, that put me uh, ahead and I kind of brought that energy towards my, my victor. That's so, good. Yeah. Uh, kind of brought it into your own universe. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. I, I saw the invisible. Right. Did, did you ever oh, feel... I like that. Did you, I mean, granted, I, I, I was gone from the show very early on, but did you ever, did you ever feel <laughs> like... When, when you, when, no, but I want to know. When, when you're going through the process right. and everything's happening... And, and you, you kind of get a sense of how you're doing. You kind of get a sense of what's going on around you. Did you ever feel like sometimes they're like, man, I think they're messing with me because I know like I got this thing. Right. Did you ever feel like that at all? Yeah, always. That, it's like you have no control over your pictures on what they pick. Oh, on. Yeah. So you kind of just like, all right, what's going on? Why did you pick that? You know, I know I have a better picture than that. So. Do you feel like looking back on the season that there were times when you felt like you got a little bit more help because they were favoring you or so let's did make that very clear well, Tyra there's a saying that Tyra <laughs> is in love with you and there might have been a little bit biased you know into judging the and uh, <laughs> 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 did you think do you think that helped you in any way um <clears throat> charisma always helps you know it's not always about what you know or how good you are it's who you can get to like you and I feel, yeah, that definitely, you know, helped out some. So how did you charm her? With the, the lip licking and then the shoulder? <laughs> the, <laughs> the dance, dance move. <laughs> what dance? Yeah, oh, she. okay. Yeah. Oh, 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 Amanda's got it down. Wow. Actually, you were Amanda's <laughs> favorite. You, you were Amanda's favorite all season, I have to say that. Oh, yes. And, uh, yes. She's blushing. Yes. <laughs> You know you wanted to dance too. I was doing it. Yeah. I was like, hey. <laughs> My cousin's a capo, by the way. Shout really? out to Darren Matthews. Yes. Okay. So I was like, oh, he's a noob. Okay. He's Shout a out to the noobs. Right. Right. New chapter at Purdue University. Oh. Yeah. Well, aside from that, um, how do you? What is one thing that you would change about the competition before we go into the actual episode? Because there was a lot that happened. There, you know, emotions were really high, especially with part one and part two. What is um, one thing that, when if you could go back, you would change? Uh, Aside from, you know, obviously you have the trophy and you're the winner, but... Yeah, I, I would have uh, took some of the critiques a little um, softer. You know, like, with you side screaming at me all the time, I kind of just, sometimes I blacked out and, like, completely shut off and... Uh, 
try not to to hear him at all. So yeah. I kind of just like separated myself while I was, you know, in motion. And that kind of like uh, took me out of the competition sometimes. I feel like I know what you're saying. Like if you try to separate yourself from what someone's saying to you, it kind of makes you not able to emote the same way and like connect with the camera. You right. Know? I, and back in my head, I'm like, shut the hell up, and I'm like trying to model. <laughs> Do you uh, <laughs> connect that to your? You know, being a professional football player, did that have anything to do with it? Uh, did it help you or did it hurt you in the competition? Um, it, it helped me because with football, you know, you get aggravated, you get mad, and you can take that aggression. You can knock somebody's head off, and you'll feel good about yourself, and the coach will like it. love it. And with, with modeling, you get, you know, <laughs> aggravated, you get pissed off, you really can't do nothing but smile harder. Yeah. <laughs> right. If someone's being like really difficult and like right. mean to you, you just have to like take it. Right. And there's you really no outlet, you know, like yeah. a physical outlet. So you just have to like find a way to release it. You just make love to that camera. Right. That's what you're doing. You have to do. You have to. Do you feel yeah. like you, Sai, might have been screaming and stuff more for the TV show, or was he like that off camera too? Uh. For the TV, you know. Yeah, it, it, yeah, he's very soft. Who's playing it up? Because right. I feel like there were moments that you could even see on the show where you're like, okay, I see he's like a nice guy. Right. So d what did he tell you that we didn't get to see? Um, he basically told me that uh, he sees something that I don't see in myself, and he was trying to pull the best out of me. Mm -hmm. Cliche, yeah, but um, no, I can but see it. I appreciate it. Positive. Yeah, I definitely. Like that. Who was your favorite judge aside from Tyra? <sighs> <laughs> That's you know what just right. to cap just just to piggyback on that who do you feel was had the most fair judging and critiques? Uh, ooh, Miss J. Really? Yeah, Miss J. Uh. He, I thought it would have been uh, Kelly. Kelly was. too. It's that's hard. They both kept it like real, and they both told me exactly what they feel like. And, who um, was uh more in that's favor two for Miss J? Because Will said Miss J. I think Lennox said Kelly. Mm. Yeah. Say, say what? Who was more in favor of you from the judges, from Kelly the judges? or uh, Miss G? Tyra. I was. <laughs> Tyra does not count. I would say. I would say. Uh, he, ha he has that in the bag. Okay, we're not right. even going to talk about that. I would say Kel that. Kelly. Yeah. Kelly. I, I, okay. I feel like Kelly plays it up though a little bit more. I, I you know, I feel that Miss J was just dead on, like meant it from the heart. Mm -hmm. I think Kelly, right. she meant it, but she also played it up too for the show. Right. I feel like whatever Miss J said was. That's exactly what I'm I I feel like Miss J came back with a contract like, if you want me to be on the show, I'm, I'm going to give it how it is. <laughs> exactly. No BSing, yeah. and I'm not going to be back there trying to babysit this, well, this I, kid. I, I would rather take a critique from Miss J than Kelly any day. Because Kelly, she's like brilliant with her uh, her critiques. You know, her jokes. She comes out from like left field with the random. <laughs> <laughs> like she told me I look like a Mormon. Or I worked that sprint when I had on the suit. <laughs> She did. She did. Right. She, I'm yeah. like, I look good in this suit. It's tattered. Like, sprint. It's okay, right? so I do have Work to give it up to you for being the best dress yes. on oh, the TV you. show. Yes. <laughs> it, it's really uh, refreshing to see a model who knows how to dress. No, Actually, no offense to you guys. Well, that's sorry. rude. No. We're just sitting right here. <laughs> yeah, like you know? Adam. Adam couldn't dress at all. You know, he had the ripped jeans on the bottom and the, the polo shirt. Yeah. So. I, I, every day before panel and whatnot, I would you know dress him. I would give him some of my stuff, and I would oh. roll his roll his uh, oh. his pants up and give him some shoes and stuff. You know, make him look good. That's this is so funny nice because of you. I wow. always mention how it's always it's really surprising to find it's hard to find a model who has any fashion sense. Really? It's the weirdest thing. Like you see models running around Hollywood in L.A. and you're like, <laughs> and they're on like, whatever. What are you <laughs> like, I'm a model, really? I'm a blank <laughs> canvas. Hey, but, it's all but, about this. It, you're it's right. It's all about so this. So they let the other people do that. We're used yeah. to everybody else getting us dressed and but stuff. But that's but that's more kudos to him because yeah. he really stood out in his in his fashion sense when he went to panel. And an, and another thing, I really think that helped you on the go sees when you went because yes, when you were looking at the fashion, you can tell that you were genuinely genuinely admiring what you were going to be wearing. Yeah. And I think mm -hmm. they were feeling that. They were like, oh, he really is, he's really he yeah. really likes the gear, the clothes, or at least right. faked it really well. But. Yeah. <laughs> We were talking about charisma and how you like went over Tyra right away and the other judges too. But when you went to Korea right. and you were going on the castings, do you feel like, like what what was that like when you met the clients and everything? Yeah, my game plan was basically to um, have them at hello, you know, eye contact, get them to smile, um, mm -hmm. you know, really look them in the eye and shake their hand and make them laugh, you know, make them feel real comfortable with me. 
Isn't so, it amazing how such a simple thing as looking somebody in the eye and right. shaking their hand, and they're just like, oh my god. I know, once they, if I they look you in your eye more than, I'll see the four seconds, you got them hooked. Yeah. Chantel was looking at him in the eye too, we just couldn't tell because she was wearing shades all the time. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so, thank you. thank you for bringing that Kanye up. Kanye Shrug. <laughs> thank you for bringing that up. But she didn't up. see that. She was actually throwing shots at me in front of the client. Like, hey, you know, you should hire, hire me because of this and you shouldn't hire him because of that. Oh, like, no, no, really? No. I'm like, why would you do that? Oh, that is And then I ended up doing the job anyway. That but. is love. So we got to ask, <laughs> did anything <laughs> happen to between you two? Between me and uh, Chantel. Chantel. No. Are you sure? Yes. Look me in the eye for four seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, she about wanted that. it too. Yeah. <laughs> it she was... wanted the manaconda, but you know. <laughs> manaconda. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think made her, uh, you know, make up the, these stories? Uh, well, now you know we we settle our differences and we're cool now. But mm -hmm. uh, the story was that you know they asked her, "Did we have any relations?" And she didn't say anything. She kind of just hinted towards it. Oh. But they put it toward me like, oh, she said this, she said that. So oh. it was coming from multiple people, so I wanted to put it out there like, look, this is what happened. I'm going to ask her in front of her to see if her you know, reaction changed and see if she's going to say the same thing that she said to y'all to me. So did she actually tell Shy that something happened, or was it just kind of like, uh... To my understanding, it was the, uh... It was, uh it's the guy uh, version of when, you know, <laughs> I come up to you, you and I'm it. like, yo, Mike, <laughs> did you hit that? And you're like, well, you know. <laughs> and you really didn't. Right. It's the guy <laughs> version of that. that. Without really saying, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. It's yeah, I, I wasn't mad at her. I, I even told her. I was like, I'm not mad at you, but I'm saying, if you're going to put that out there, then we might as well just, you know, make it happen. Oh. Oh. oh! So you actually had intentions. Um, I didn't have intentions, but if you're going to put it out there, and that's right. what everyone thinks. Right. I mean, well, if you talk yeah. the talk, you better walk the walk. Right. So, <laughs> who was one of the girls in the competition uh, that you were attracted to? I know, you know, we saw Kari, but uh, was there anyone else that you were um, attracted to? Um, I love women. You know, uh, they, <laughs> all shapes answer. and sizes. Uh, Great answer. Great. I like them all. They all had their own little uh, sexiness to them. To them. But, even um, Mariana? Yeah, even Mariana. When her mouth is closed. <laughs> you actually, you know what's funny? I was surprised that you chose Mariana for the Tyra shoot. Commercial. Uh, the Tyra yeah, commercial. Because yeah. um, I had lipstick. She got big lips. She's beautiful. So. Yeah. And yeah. I thought Business yeah. is business. You know? yeah, yeah, right. right. So let's jump into the episode real quickly, you know, because there was a lot that happened. Um, obviously, Adam won best photo from the previous from the previous photo shoot. So Elvis in the street. It was Thank it was definitely different to see him uh, have his picture up. That was you know, a great. That was a killer shot, though. It, it was. was. Oh, it was. That was such a good shot. Yeah. That on. It was, and you know he's celebrating with himself, of course. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> drinking beer again. Uh, it's but it seemed like you guys were really happy uh, being in the house. I didn't really see any drama going on. Right. The final four um, definitely deserved to be there. Thank you. I think you guys really worked hard to get to the top, and um, you know, definitely. That's one thing about us. We, we all support each other, and. Uh, we all was open with each other and can talk about pretty much anything, and they'll give you, like, a, a honest feedback on, on anything. And, um, yeah, it was a close group. Yeah. So one of the things that Tyra does always, you know, towards the end, she brings the eliminated contestants back. So while everyone thinks, you know, the eliminated contestants are gone home, you know, they're no longer on the show, they're actually might could, you know, give We're you a little bit of story. A blast. <laughs> <laughs> At a second. See, you don't know about being eliminated, Keith. Good. That's, yeah. a good. that's a good thing. I heard all about it, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, they came back, and I was surprised they didn't do uh, the bet of the, the money like, you know, they did with your season. Yeah. The bet with um, the money? What, what was that? Last season, you know, whoever, whoever team you chose to be on, um, you know, they asked Mike towards the end if he wanted to stay with. Who were you with? I was Corey? with Corey originally. Okay. You, Corey, if he wanted to change because they were going to give money to the winning to the winning team. So okay. if Jordan won, they how much money did you get? I got a thousand dollars. Yeah, Ooh, that's yeah. like you know Boom. nothing. But <laughs> <laughs> Mike, my Mike switched month. last <laughs> minute from Corey's team to Jordan's as soon as he heard about the money. Wow. <laughs> it was business is business. So, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I was actually pleased to see the contestants choosing, um, you know, the eliminated contestants to be part of their team because you were going to be working on a commercial with 
uh, Tyra's makeup line. Right. So uh, I was surprised that you did choose Mariana, but after you know seeing the whole commercial and how the products and everything that was going to be used, it really made sense. Right. So you had Mariana and Shy. Lennox had um, Ben and, ben and, and Matt. Matthew, and uh, Adam had everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All of them. He was being he was being the nice guy. Right. So uh, I really really liked your commercial. Um, you know I think the other ones Lennox did. Oh, you guys all did a good job. I have oh. I really oh, like Will yeah. Will's, yeah. Will's, Will's was really good. Will's was really good. Yeah. Um, I was really surprised how the makeup actually worked. It made it look like he had a, he, a it looked like he right? had <laughs> abs. Contoured the abs. Like Tyra was going to come out with something that don't work. Right. Oh. Tyra's a mogul. Like Tyra's going to come out with something or not. And did you like how show. They, were exactly. like, they were like, oh, and by the way, I also studied business, and here I am holding my diploma, my degree. <laughs> yeah. So we we were a, so tired that shoot. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it was really in the middle like of the night. Four or five in the morning, yeah. Oh my was God! Exhausted. So we had a special guest, Allison Harvard, who uh, you know came back to to shoot with you. Yeah, she was amazing. Yeah. You know, she just fit perfectly into the whole yeah, commercial. She was so natural. But I love uh, her eyes. Oh my God! Yeah, that's all it is. is eyes. You guys had how many hours each to shoot the commercial? Because <clears throat> the malls there, from what we understand, open at 7 a.m. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God! So People it, it, really it, have money to spend. Yeah. It, it <laughs> varied depending on how much time you had, depending on you know the shots and whatnot. So each group really, uh, depending on how they shot and if they got it. You know, some were um, faster than others. So. Did you have anything to do with the coordination, uh, y directing how it should be? Okay, no. maybe we should. It was all set up. Yeah, it was all set up. Do this. Oh, I don't look right. Do that. Keep dance. Oh, you step. You can't dance. Stop. Bring the girls in. So. I, I like that you guys were having fun with it and it wasn't so serious. Yeah. Um, and I think it really comes, um, you know, again from the top four how you guys really played well with one another. It wasn't really competitive um, and uh, it was really awesome so yeah. I, I really liked it uh, whose commercial did you like best I like mine's the best <laughs> I should have said you can't choose That's yours right. honest <laughs> answer right. uh, besides yourself um, Lennox Lennox is was strong uh, her with the, with the two guys uh, did you know, she have Matt the eyeliner what she, what did she, she had like the blue and black yeah. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. did. She had the blue and black. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, she had Matt and uh, Ben. They both got strong looks, but you know she overpowered them with oh, her look. It was called Ki "Kiss My Fat Lash." Yeah, so yes. she actually did. Uh, Tyra was also in her commercial, so it, it was actually cool to yeah. see Tyra. Um, and Lennox just looks like a, a doll. Um, yeah. I love when they ha when they put up the picture of you and Tyra at the very end. When did you take that? Uh, the same time. The same, t the same the, during same the commercial. Yep, during the commercial. That shot is amazing. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's beautiful. I just, yeah. Uh, I, I'm uh, like, they just like put it up on the screen, like just real quick. I'm like, no, I'll leave it longer. It was, it was awesome. It was awesome to, uh, to be that close to Tyra. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you will get guys, many more opportunities. Are you, are you <laughs> now like, that the show's over. Messy. It has no. On a serious note, has Tyra been following up with you and making sure your career is going well? Does she help um, the models after the show? Um, so far, I haven't uh, held any conversations with her. Uh, okay. Yeah, it was just via uh, social media. Okay. Retweets and stuff. And like that. now we can actually ask you: Are you going to be with Next Models? Yes, I'm going to be with Next Models. Yay! Congratulations. Yay! Is that uh, in L.A.? In what New division York, are you going to be with? I'm going to be in L.A. Uh, as far as I know right now. Okay. Uh, I have a meeting with them soon, and we're going to we're going to we're going to discuss everything else. Strategize. Definitely. Does that mean you're moving yeah. to L.A. or are you going to stay? Um, I'm thinking about moving to L.A. or New York. Um, I'm stuck in between the two, but uh, I'll make that decision soon. But as a as a model, you want to be able to travel around, so you don't have definitely. to be like right. permanently. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I could. I, I can even stay in Atlanta and just come out here for weeks at a time, three, four a month, and then mm -hmm, mm -hmm. fly back and then go to New York and then come back mm -hmm, to L.A. Mm -hmm. The A. So right after you guys are done with the commercial, uh, you go to a panel, which you think is going to be panel, and it turns out that Usai is going to be shooting your mm -hmm. guest campaign, fa campaign yep. photo shoot. How surprised were you? Were you prepared for it? Uh, did you? What, what was the feeling you were having at that moment? Um, I was confused. You know, I, I went. I went to the panel expecting, you know, to either get eliminated or for someone to go home, mm -hmm. and. Um, <clears throat> Once we arrived and he was there, said we're going to shoot our guest campaign. You know, my stomach kind of dropped and I was, you know, ready to go. 
Did you like your outfits they chose for you? Uh, that was okay. <clears throat> the I, shot of the denim vest was so good. Yeah, yeah thank you. Yeah, that looks like a... I felt there was a, a stronger photo. I really, I don't really like that photo. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what, you know, that's what I was going to ask you. I was going to ask you just generally, throughout the season, which shoots did you feel that you probably had a stronger picture than was chosen? Mine. Which one stand out to you the most? The MCM one. Really? Yeah, I feel that one's real, <clears throat> really strong, and I like my face in it. I like uh, everything. No, no, the shit. the ones that no. weren't strong. Oh, weren't that? Did, did you, that you, you feel like you, you I didn't like better that, that you feel like you probably had a better shot than they chose? I didn't like the weave, the the the, oh. the rock star oh. hair flip. Oh, okay. yeah, I don't look good in that. That's a yeah. ridiculous yeah. idea, yeah. anyway. Yeah. I didn't like that. Or even the uh, the ice one. The dead the, frozen Everybody jeans. struggled on that shit. Yeah. I'm like, sorry, but why did it have to be real ice? It's a photo. <laughs> it it doesn't freezing. have to be. Like, I, I think I build it to look like ice. That's the challenge, though. Well, you I wanted know. to capture the emotions as right. well. So yeah. let's talk about the photos real acting. quick. Because <laughs> right after right after you guys did the, uh, the photo shoot for the guest campaign, I already knew Lennox was gone. Really? Her photos were horrible, <laughs> and I don't know if it was set up, you know, if that's the way, you know, the way they intended. But you could tell. I turned to him and I said, "Lennox is going home." They should have stuck to <laughs> her. Oh no, Lennox is gorgeous. Bra, I should so, take a bad photo to me. It wasn't. It wasn't a guest campaign photo. Oh. But you know what? And she's not really that girl. She's just not. She's more edgy. Mm. No, she could be guest. Mm. She she's, could do it. Mm, the, yeah. Listen, the black and white look like. A perfume ad. It did not look gas at all. Yeah. You couldn't like see her shampoo, face. It was, a, it was a side shot, and then yeah. The, that, why did they choose that one? I don't know. She <laughs> said she she said they <laughs> only shot her for like a few seconds, like that. And most of her shots were of her. That's how they do her it. face towards the camera. Most of them. She said she only chose the side for like a minute. Well, what it. we didn't know is that mm -hmm. while you guys were shooting, Tyra was actually watching backstage them. with the judges, right. watching every single shot that you guys, uh, you know, had, and Creeping it was going to be critiqued, <laughs> and there was going to be elimination right after. Right. So. I can't say now I'm going back to like I feel like this whole thing was strategized from the beginning how it was gonna end up and uh, for them to have it come all the way to the end and then have Lennox eliminated. She doesn't even make it to the top three. It was just like mind-boggling. Like, well, what is going on? I think on? that's why they did it was to just throw everybody for right. a loop. Because like we it's all said, strange. we expected Lennox to be there to the end. In the final three right. at least. Right, at yes. least, yeah. I was and not I, expecting three guys. Right, in the three front. guys? I, that's, yeah. That's I gotta Adam. say, I really liked Adam's, Adam's photos as well. Yeah. He did a good job, and he looks like a guest model that could actually be on a campaign. Most definitely. So, it, after seeing the photos, it definitely made sense why Lennox should go home. I mean, and taking previous... Uh, you know, performance into consideration, it didn't make sense, but just on the photos itself, right. I could see why she was going but to I, be eliminated. I feel like with this team of people working on this shoot, they could get the right shot out of Lennox. Of course. I mean, yeah. they know what they're doing. She knows what she's doing at this point. You know, it, that was just like they, they wanted her to turn to the side so they could have a bad picture to put up there. It's not even a bad picture, but it's just <laughs> not. What's that face? <laughs> it keeps making um, faces. I feel that she could have got a better shot or had a better shot, but, you know, time, they was against time, so they kind of just like, all right, we're going to grab this. But I feel like it was rushed. But they're not, they're not, okay. they're not shooting rushed. to get the shot. They're shooting to get the good television. Exactly. And that's, I don't think people realize. Like, well, it's a television it show. It is a television yeah. show. It's a television yeah. show, then it's a contest. Correct. You know, Maybe they're shooting to get the bad shots. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, look, and you know, you know this. As soon as you step on, they start shooting right away. Even right. before you're ready, they're starting to shoot stuff. They always got to have. And, and they're right, acting like they're like. adjusting the light still. Yeah. Oh, yeah. tricky, oh. tricky, tricky. Yeah. So, you know. I always <laughs> pose when they do that anyway. Just, <laughs> I'm just I'm always ready to go. Really? I'm like, oh, they're doing that. They're just doing the light. Okay. Uh. Because you never know. Well, I'm just about, never like, know. I don't know if that's the one they're going to pick. They're going to get a sneak shot. How did you feel uh -huh. How did you feel after Adam got best picture twice? How, what were you thinking and what were you guys thinking? Like, oh. I'm thinking, like, what was going through your guys' head? I was, like, me personally, I was like, oh, my God, this dude. But it, you couldn't <laughs> deny it. You couldn't deny it. It was a great picture. It so was, yeah, I was like, picture. okay. Did you Adam, think he had a chance hell? of winning the contest at that point? Um, no. After w winning the second best photo? No, not at all. Why? Because he doesn't measure up, and he's not as strong as Will and I. Okay. So if it wasn't going to be me, it was going to be Will. 
Simply that's, put. Like, that's where I was at from, from I, the beginning. Because Tyre yeah. even said, you know, Will and I have the strongest faces in the competition. Right. So that gave us a um, certain true. level of That's fair, yeah. 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 So, uh, you know, we move on after uh, Lennox is eliminated to your uh, final fashion show. This is my favorite moment in the whole uh, ANTM's episode because you see everyone and I love, you know, the outfits they choose and the whole production, you know, it takes yeah. to actually put on the whole show. Uh, were you confident? Were you nervous? Did you cry before you went on to walk? <laughs> I couldn't cry. I messed up on mascara. <laughs> Don't worry about that. But, um, yeah, it was very emotional and... Uh, Man, uh, going out there, I just had to like, you know, take everything in because I know that was like the last runway show, and runway is my one of my strong points. So um, I knew I had to really bring it, and um, that's what I did. Do you guys have two outfits or more? Two. Okay, two. which one was your favorite? Uh, the all black one, my. Uh, the second one. Yeah, the second one. Yeah. yeah the all black one looked yeah, really that was good. A good. That one. looked like it, it suited you more. It's the first clean. one. Now, I couldn't fit the jacket on the first one. Like, the first one, that, honestly, <laughs> it looked good, down. and you made it look good. You Thank sold you. it. But it kind of looked like a women's coat. Mm -hmm. It did, a little bit. It was but flamboyant. You're, it was yeah, really flamboyant. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's an acquired taste, that coat. But your confidence, yeah. you know, in the, the walk was completely sold the outfit. And yeah. Right. yeah. That's what set you apart from the other uh, contestants. Um, Adam just, you know, he's really stiff and manly, you know, walking <laughs> down the... Runway and Will just kind of had, I don't know what it is about Will, but I feel like his height and his complex about it and being in, you know, South Korea right. just got to his head because it was, I, I don't know if he had any challenges with the clothing, um, fitting him, the mm. shoes, because we've seen that happen, you know, throughout the season. Yeah, he's 6'8". Um, <laughs> and I feel like, you know, he didn't feel confident being in South Korea because he knows he doesn't fit into their typical yeah. male Neither model. Do I. It's I was too big. I was too big for all my clothes, but really? yeah, I got them to like me. So they found too something big, that fits like, me. Your shoulders or what? But my shoulders, my thighs, like they're your the clothes are so man. small. They're petite. Wow. Yeah, but once you get you get a designer to like you, they'll find a way to use you. That's they'll, what they'll get something that expands. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that's that's like the mentality and the mindset I had going into it. You know, but it was also these, yeah, I think you were designers. a little bit easier to fit than Will just because he's so tall and they don't yeah. really have the height there. True. For the clothes. Who who else out of the? But uh, you're right. That that final runway. I mean, you're you're watching everybody as they go down. Who else out of the entire cast like really stood out where you're like oh man they really killed that last runway uh i like chantel's walk i like shy's walk and i liked um <laughs> matt matt yeah. was walking with this the serious swag he had the head going <laughs> <laughs> and of course jordan from last still? season oh, yeah. Yes. yeah yeah oh. yeah jordan did come back. Tone, yeah. she she's great i mean uh her outfit last season was just Oh, amazing. I was in love with it. Yeah. <laughs> Even though she felt, but. <laughs> <laughs> it look heavy. That's one thing you guys don't have to worry about walking right. in heels. I know. Easy. Like, down to well, the final three, and they're know. all guys. Well, Will does Well, Will, yes. Yeah. Let's not go there. <laughs> he's a professional, so oh, yeah. he's one of us. <laughs> and I would think that he would have more confidence on the runway because of his dance background, you know? I really think it's psychological being in uh, Korea and being knowing that you stand out, you're different. I know you guys, you know, everyone you, stands out, but him and his height. Yeah, I just feel Will's, having, Will's complex was, like one of his major critiques was, hey, we need you to be more masculine with your walk. Because his walk was really feminine in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. No, yeah, so mm -hmm. he tried to, you know, switch it up a little bit. So as he's walking, he's probably, you know, thinking, and he got the blanket. Thinking yeah. too much. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But mm -hmm. being feminine would have helped him out so much more than just being stiff, like you know, he was uh, walking. I think he just went, he just played it safe. I think he got yeah. to a safe rhythm, and instead of just like being relaxed, I think it was more of just okay, this is cool. I'll just. He looked, right right he looked great. He still looked good. I have another question yeah. for you now. Sometimes for TV, they have to film the fashion show a couple times. Did yeah. you guys have to walk out in the same outfit multiple times, or was it just really how we saw it? Just how y'all saw it. Okay, yeah. that's good. I I think theirs is very candid. You know how they shot. Mm -hmm. uh, the previous season, I think you guys had to do it a couple of times. We, we, had, we had a few pickups we had to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So with them, I yeah. you know it's the whole no filter thing going theme going on. Right. So theirs is that's more just good to know that they are really how, doing it that way. Did they do that the whole season? Just you, it, They showed how it really went, or did you ever have to repeat your walk? Oh, we had to repeat a couple times. But not yeah. for the finale? Not for the finale. Okay. How many people were there? It seemed like there was a lot of people. There was a lot of people. Like, that was a big space. Yes, uh, it was a lot. It was loud, too. Real loud. <laughs> 
people screaming. Did it was you like hear a party. Tyra screaming at you when you were walking? Because <laughs> nah, I, I was like, oh man, it's yeah, distracting. Was, I don't know how to handle that. That's horrible, actually. It's kind it of distracts. It it's disrespectful. <laughs> I'm sorry, but her you can't. Screaming? You cannot hear that. Okay. It's too loud. People scream. There's music. They must have just had her mic'd up or something yeah. just so you could, okay. No, okay. she was, yeah, definitely. Yeah, right. I didn't even know they were sitting right there. Or they filmed that later. Yeah, when you get it's out really there, you just kind of get in the zone. Mm-hmm. Right, You're right. not yeah. even paying attention right. to anybody else out there. You're just like, I'm doing my thing. Right. But if, if <laughs> just if the audience were more quiet and she was, like, screaming, it would be hard not to crack a smile or something. Yeah, Adam had this laugh. one white jacket on. It was like yeah. a coat, and it was just like bouncing on him like a rubber band. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, what is that he's wearing? He's walking, and it was like, bong, 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 bong. I think it was his walk. Yeah. Like made out of neoprene or something no, like that. I, I, pimp coat, you know? I think it was his walk, too. Yeah. He was Swaggy very jacket. stiff walking, so it felt like, you know, he was just jumping up and down <laughs> as, he was, as he was walking. But like, I want to get into more of, you know, your background and what you're pursuing and where you want to go, uh, and just to, you know, let you guys know, Adam was eliminated first, and it was down to Will and yourself, yeah. and of course, Mr. A and TM21, Mr. Keith Carlos won, so we're really happy <laughs> to see that. Will is great, you know, amazing model. I know he's going to do a lot, yeah. uh, so he's definitely going to have his career set, so well, I'm really proud and happy for everyone that was on the show. Uh, as for you, what are you working on right now, um, now that the show's over? Do you have anything set up for the future? Um, right now, I'm trying to square away with my, my new agency. And um, I want to walk in uh, New York Fashion Week that's coming up mm-hmm. in a couple weeks. Well, in February. In yeah, February. Yeah. So I'm working on that. Uh, I'm just building my brand right now um, as a celebrity. And then I'm going to build my brand as a model. Okay. Yeah. Nice. And when you say Stay current, ce- you know? celebrity, are you going to be branching out into different things? Of course. Okay. Um, <laughs> what is your, uh, I mean, what would you ideally want to do? Ideally, I would like to um, land a, a major film role or TV series. So, okay. um, CW. Yeah, CW. CW, yeah. Call you, Keith. You know some people over there, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know somebody that mm-hmm. knows somebody? Yeah. Who I do. Knows? I do. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever thought about going into design, fashion design? Um, I have, actually. I would like a shoe line called Keith Carlos. High five. Don't it sound like a shoe line? <laughs> yeah. I like the shoes that you're wearing tonight, okay. by the way. Giuseppe. Ooh, Giuseppe Zanotti. Yeah. yeah. He knows what he's nice. Doing. Yeah. <laughs> so, Splash. <laughs> that's, that's swagger juice. For those yeah. of you that can't, that didn't get to see that or you're just listening into the podcast, they're like shiny, I take it off? high top sneakers. You probably cannot spell it, pronounce it, nor afford it, so don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. Yes, and uh, keep it real. Just Those are baller shoes sponsored. over there. Okay, baller shoes. They were sponsored? No, I'm saying, I'm telling Giuseppe Daddy. I need a sponsor. Oh, I was like, that must be nice. Plug <laughs> away. Right, there you go. <laughs> Not only did you win the clothes from, you know, the show, the sunglasses, yeah. Yeah. you know, you had, did you get all your gifts yet? I got Is all it? my gifts except for the shades. Ooh. I know. Ooh. I really don't like to wear shades anyway, you know, this is my sexy, my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I, really like, I really like to cover those up. I'm not covering my money makers. Did you say that's right. your sexy? Yeah, that's my sexy. That's it. <laughs> Hashtag, that's my sexy. <laughs> that's my sexy. Okay, I like that. What you was your alter ego name? No! Name? I have not heard that. K songs. Out of the loop on K that songs. Phrase. Yes. You're funny. Okay. And I how am. did you come up with that? Um, K songs. Uh, he's the, the the smooth talker. Um, in me. And um, okay. I listen to a lot of Trey songs. Really, you know. Oh. It's the higher ver- It's the model version of, of Trey, Trey songs. songs. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So I kind of just took his whole personality and tried to switch it around to my own. And when yeah. do you turn that on? Um, when the, when the, when the, when it's right. When the, when the move and the the feeling is right. You know, he comes out of nowhere. Okay, so is it something that you consciously it. do, or is it something when you're uncomfortable in a certain I'm situation a little, where you need to play it up? <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> End of it. That's good to know. No, no. <laughs> uh, you know, please make sure Nix does not hear that. <laughs> right. <laughs> they nah. probably would like it, actually. No, but we got to see uh, we got to see Trey songs uh, on the on the soap opera shoot, the soap opera challenge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, K-Songs. 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 K-Song
Yeah. Yeah, that's why they, they like me because I uh, I made the character my own. So is there any possibility of going back to, you know, Korea, Korea to oh, yeah. do pursue something maybe in TV uh, modeling? Yes, uh, did they offer you extend any offers to you um, to come back? Not yet, but I'm, I'm gonna reach out, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that they will reach out, and uh, I plan on definitely going back and uh, make something happen. Has the show already contacted you for appearing on the next season Not as yet. like a special guest? Not yet. They, well, well the they're apparently casting. Yeah, the winner so. always comes back. So. Yeah. And as, and as his interim manager for right now, the, <laughs> the company that owes him those shades, he's not going to get anything, do any shoots for you guys until he gets his shades. Oh. oh. Have you seen the, because uh, I know the, the, the MCM challenge, that, that ad was actually getting published. published. Yeah, and the Have Jenny you seen Kim. that yet? Did it come out? No, I haven't seen it at all. Oh. And the Jenny Kim, the, uh, the shoes yeah, yeah, yeah. with the blue suit, the selfie. Yeah, that's um, getting published as well. That was a dope nice. shot. But you, but you, yeah. haven't, you yeah. haven't actually, none of, they haven't come out as far as you know. You haven't seen no, them. Oh. I haven't. What was your favorite uh, photo shoot? My favorite photo shoot and my uh, least favorite was in the same shoot. It was the one in opening credits where we were getting drowned with the water. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> that was by far like one of the hardest things I had to do. You have to keep the blue still while it's like we had like a gallon, not a gallon, um, a, a trash bucket. can, a trash can yeah. full of water just pouring on your head, and you're like feel like you're drowning. You're trying to breathe and keep a, a straight face. Was it cold? It was freezing. Really? Yes. They couldn't have made it Wet warmer. Wet jeans Come and. On. Yes. Come on. Well, yeah. yours was more than wet jeans because, I've, as I remember, they made yeah, you take, take off your off pants. pants. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I got, actually got my um, my nickname that show. I mean that episode. And Tyra's the one that gave you the nickname, right? <laughs> well, actually, all right. Producers came back there to check out my outfit, and um, at that time, I just had a speedo on. I wasn't going to wear any jeans, so she said, "You know, let me see your outfit." So I opened up my robe, and then she was like. <laughs> We need to change. And then she came back with about, you know, three other women and uh, told me to do it again. By this time, you know, I had to get prepared because I know she was coming back with more women. So. <laughs> you had to get prepared. Yeah, I had to get prepared. Oh, you my. You don't even know about that. I don't so. need to know. I don't need. Is that a So, you know, if, if all else fails, at least you know you have a career in that department. Uh, <laughs> uh, Underwear modeling. Body parts modeling. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, he's vivid. got, he's got, he's got, vivid the, whole, he's oh got the whole package, no pun intended. <laughs> but I like that photo shoot, uh, and it really brought out the best in everyone yeah. or the worst in some people. So for the males, it was definitely easier than females because you have long hair, and it's all, you know, in your face, and you're trying to, you know, flip it or whatever the hell people try to do with their hair. Uh, <laughs> Tyra did it. We got to watch um, Tyra do it right before us. So. Tyra's a professional. So uh, Tyra right. can make She's any an icon. photo, she, her any challenge, not anything cold. look like it's <laughs> so easy. <laughs> she did. Oh my God, you should have seen her. her She's water, like, I'm gonna do my taxes. Uh, her water was, <laughs> was warm. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, what was your favorite challenge? My favorite. <laughs> Whew, that's hard. The naked runway. Oh, oh yeah, oh. that was yeah. cream. Yeah. Mm, it, no, was, uh, it was party it was, string. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, we had to put double. Why string. was that your favorite? Were you I hoping like, that it would fall off? No, I was. <laughs> I was really uncomfortable with that one. I feel like Set that. Set the implication. Yeah, yeah, it really, really um got me comfortable with my surroundings and you know what I was doing. I was out of that. So you overcame your fear. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. yeah, I went to that. That was fun. Yeah. Yeah. You got to kind of shed yeah. break some. You shed some walls early. Mm. With that shoot, just yes. coming out early, naked, <laughs> naked, the silly string on, like right, oh, butt out to the crowd, they're screaming. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So were there were there any other things from being a pro football player that you brought into the competition that you get, didn't get a chance to talk about? Um, just being able to deal with adversity, and uh, I feel like I'm I'm a pro at that, and that's pretty much all the show was <laughs> dealing with adversity and <laughs> how you react to certain situations. It's yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. So I felt you know football prepared me for that, and definitely taking the critiques. And you probably had uh, an advantage in knowing how to manage, like, your calorie intake, your protein, oh, your, no. your workout. I, I went, listen, I went, I went on to the show weighing about, I want to say, 209. And I came off the show weighing 180. Oh, yes. really? Just Whoa. High, like, just high stress and really not having, like, uh, 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 a steady meal. Because, you know, we eat whenever we yes. can, really. That, that's really interesting because I thought it would have been the opposite Me with too. all the alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then the, your sleeping I'm, patterns off is just ugh, it was just high stressing. Yeah, in that situation, some people lose weight, some people gain. Yeah. So that was. Well, you're not working out either. You're, yeah, you're, no. Yeah. Yeah. You were getting a lot of criticism at one point in one the phase month? of the show for like this one look thing. Yeah. That they were saying, what is the one thing that you would say is probably 
the most important thing that you think you improved on or you took away from the show as a skill? As a skill? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> one critique that they gave me was uh, to model from the inside out, meaning you have to take the emotions you have inside and project them through your eyes and through your emotions and through your body language. You know, you really can't lie to the camera. Right. Because it picks up everything. Right. So mm -hmm. just being able to do that. Okay. So, That's going to help you for same, acting, too, actually. Yeah, most yeah. definitely. And the same face thing, I was like, you know, if, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Right. <laughs> they exactly. like this. You know what I'm saying? So. Kelly. <laughs> it works. Kelly, catch I mean, <laughs> it's kind of like having that signature. And I'm bald. Like, I'm bald. So all I can do is, like, <laughs> tilt my head a certain way or squint harder or open my eyes wider. Like... It's right. not like you're going to move your hair out of your eye or something like Like Will, like that. he can put a part in his hair. He can slick it back, you know? Yeah. That would change your whole face. Mm -hmm. but, so what what advice would you give to anybody that's going to be on the show or wants to be on the show? Anybody that, that Tackle 22 coming up, yeah. they're casting for it now. What, what, what tips, what advice would you give to people going on the um, show? Firstly, I would tell them if they're looking to be on the show too, um, grow some thick skin because people are not going to like you. Uh, people are going to tell you you can't do it. You're, they're going to tell you you're not a model. They're going to tell you everything. And you cannot be derailed by what they say. You have to have this, this sickening faith and belief in yourself. Yeah. And you just can't listen to anyone. And, um, yeah. And how has your family back home reacted? Oh, my goodness. My mom is so <laughs> annoying. She, oh. <laughs> I love her to death, but she calls me every 10 minutes like, what are you doing? Uh, where are you? Tell me about it. I'm like, Mom, stay off my page. <laughs> Yeah, what's, they're what's, very excited. What's She's the craziest mom. thing somebody has said on social media? Because they say oh a lot God. of crazy things. That's a good yes. question. Really? <laughs> no, I, I'm afraid now. Yeah. I don't think I can say that on here. Keep it PG. I? Keep it PG. PG. Yeah. No, PG-13. PG-13. I actually had, uh, <laughs> I actually had a, uh, a lesbian couple offer to pay me to get them pregnant or get one of them pregnant. How um, much? Can I say that? Yeah. 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 No. No. That's but, just shocking that they would. They right. Would ask. It's like you're so beautiful, and I love your personality. You're down to earth. Da da da. da. Yeah. Oh. And that's something small. Oh. <laughs> no pun intended. Right. Oh my no. God. No. 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 <laughs> you know what's really interesting is that you're, I think, one of the very few uh, models contestants on the show that uh, doesn't really have any haters. Everyone on the show and off the show loves you. Really. From what I, pr <laughs> what I mean, maybe you had your own online somewhere that we don't have know about. Have you had haters on you know social media or in the house? Oh well, probably not in the house. I, I kept. Okay. I knew what I was doing going into it. You know, <laughs> I knew what I was doing. I had a a, a strategy. I went to get everybody oh. to like me. Um, I'm not a confrontational person. I don't like to argue. I'm more hands on. If we're going to argue, we're going to fight. You cannot fight on the show. So I stayed away from the fighting and arguing, and I just instigated. You know, and. Um, <laughs> <laughs> He said, I just instigated. I'm saying, so if I, you ever see any arguments like with uh, Mariana and Raylia, who's in the middle? Key. I'm in the middle, like. Key, right? <laughs> like, you gonna let her talk about, you gonna let her sit down on a Tuesday? <laughs> hit her. Oh, Tuesday, I would let, hey, I would hit her right now. <laughs> <laughs> even, when, even when Romeo had butted Adam. Yeah, you instigated? I was, oh, yeah, I had to. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's like, I need someone going home. <laughs> the power of a strong mind. You're not, not gonna hit him, though. I dare you. Yeah, and he had butted him. So. Did you ever just... <laughs> wow, that was his choice. That there. was his choice to react. Did you, ever know, just, did you ever just yeah. sit there and laugh at some of the arguments that people were having? Yes. Because people fight about everything. Oh, my... Like... Everything. Everything like, and nothing. Oh, no, I remember when people... Somebody, like, left a dish out and somebody started arguing. Oh, yeah. They're going at it. And I remember just being off camera just laughing my ass off. The funniest arguments... You guys arguments, are really fighting about The this. funniest arguments is always about, like... Who's a model? Who's not a model? <laughs> and like, who are you to say that he's a model? He's not a model. You're like, all in the same yeah, competition. Like, like Romeo is always arguing. Oh, you're not a model. You're a what do you say? You're a fitness trainer. You're a person trainer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Right. Away. Yeah. So um, you know, we need to wrap it up real quick. But uh, I want to ask: Did you apply for the show? How did you get on the show? Or were you uh, recruited like Mike was over here? All right. Well. um... There was a PR I was dealing with. <laughs> Not from an ice cream truck, but. <laughs> yeah, I was in camp with the Giants at the time, and it was this PR that I was uh, dealing with. Well, let me bring it back a little more. I was actually supposed to be on Cycle 20. All right? Ooh, really? Uh, he yeah, so I was getting casted for that. And then my, uh, I went to Purdue University, and I, I, I left or whatever. And 
my whole coaching staff got um, fired. So my AD hit me up and was like, hey, you got to come back and you got to finish these four classes because I transferred into Purdue. It was like, yeah, your degree never went through, la, la, la. So I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> Three years later and you're just getting to me? <laughs> oh, so crap. basically I canceled uh, the top model thing and went and got my degree, you know, because I believe Smart I owe it to myself and to my family and it'll last longer. So next year comes around, um, I was on the Giants and uh, tore my hamstring right around that time. Um, and I was prayed about it like, you know, Lord, what's next? You know, open the door for me. And uh, PR reached out to me. One of the PRs I was dealing with reached out to me and was like, you know, uh, they're casting for top model. It'll be a good look for you. You know, I know you want to model and act, so just try it. So I was like, all right. She sent over some pictures, and next thing you know, I was in Cali. Nice. Nice. Yeah, it happened nice. fast. Yeah, happened fast. Well, well, congratulations again. Thank you. Yes. So excited. Thanks for coming through, Keith. Oh, yeah, thanks for having me. Dude. <laughs> Any... Last comments, thoughts, guys? This is yeah, it for I mean, us until you know, next yes. Shout out to you. You're a, you're a role model in the community, thank in you, the country, you. and you've made history, dude. So definitely. You got that boom, boom. <laughs> right. Yes, boom, we changed boom, that. Boom, boom, for the first time, so you know, there's hope for guys next season. Oh, yeah. We'll God. see. So, oh, yeah. who, 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 do you, who do you think takes the next year? Guy we hold the crown. Guys. All right. We hold okay, the crown. I, I'm going gonna, gonna to predict that it's going to be a guy and a girl because if Tyra's small, smart, she needs to have one of each because you guys are not competing against one another. It's a completely different market for men and for females. That's true. Modeling it's true. And true. But then again, it's TV. Can of worms here. That's You're true. right. It is TV. TV. Where can we find it you uh, on social media, Keith? You can find me on Instagram at Keith Carlos, and you can find me on Twitter at Keith underscore Carlos. And check out my website at I am Keith Carlos. Nice. <laughs> Beautiful. Where can we find you guys? After you. Mike Skukoza, S-C-O-C-O-Z-Z-A, <laughs> Instagram, Twitter, you know it, the works. You guys can find me on Twitter and Instagram at The Runway Queen. Club Thaddeus, everywhere. Everywhere. And you guys can find me on Instagram, the whole social media at Real Emma Can. Don't forget to log on to YouTube, iTunes, rate, comment, give us five stars. Yay. And uh, we're so sad. This is our last episode, ah. but we will see you guys back next season. 22, baby. Yeah. Cycle 22. Thank you guys for being an amazing audience, and Love we'll you. see you. Bye. From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, you later. Yep. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.